Google search sucks. Am I telling you anything you don't know? Probably not. Today, we're gonna get into the alternative AI tool that everyone is switching to. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again, joining me for Tea Time. Today, we're coming to the end of a little bit of Fireside. That smokiness, so good, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, space, SpaceX, Starlink, of course, Linux, and most importantly, alternatives. This channel is about a lot of alternatives. So today we're gonna to be talking about an alternative to Google's search. People are just sick of it. They are just absolutely tired of all the ads, all the sponsorship links, all of the keyword stuffed SEO nonsense and just advertising everywhere. Just can't get actual good content. It's shallow, I would say, as of today. And if you wanna find something that you're looking for, sometimes it's on page five, maybe page 20, buried. This is what Google does. And matter of fact, the DOJ has a little bit to say about it too. So today we're gonna to be talking about what is going on and also in an alternative that a lot of people are switching to. And I'm gonna show you how to switch and how damn good it is. I'm telling you, once you switch, you're just not gonna use Google search anymore. There's no reason to, there's absolutely no reason to. Anyways, if you get any type of value out of this content, please throw it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, I appreciate that too. Click this little notification button over here so when I go live when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. If you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a little thanks button down here. Thank you, YouTube, for that button. Click on thanks. Give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. The video is still free. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. Also, if you want specific content, I've broken things up into different playlists. If you want specifically SpaceX Starlink, I have about 470 videos for you. I'll put a link over here. Don't click on it yet. Also, if you're looking for Life After Adobe Cutting the Cord or Life After Microsoft Windows Cutting the Cord series, I've put together playlists for those also. This this content probably will fall into the life after Microsoft Windows. Google is pretty close to Windows. Yes, Titans, Monopolies, Tyrants. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get into an article that I read, actually a couple of them that I put together. It's really good information about what is going on. And then by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the switch to this alternative that I am now using. I promise you, you're gonna love it. Absolutely love it. Down below, I wanna hear from you. Of course, I'll give you my commentary, but down below, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all this? And if you don't wanna put anything down there because you're shy, put an emoji. I'm okay with that also. Anyways, the article starts out by saying, the search revolution, why people are ditching Google search for AI. Just Google it, was always once the universal answer to any question, a nod to Google's ironclad reign over search. Isn't that the case? But that era is crumbling. People are jumping ship to perplex the AI, an AI-powered answer engine that's reshaping how we find answers. Why? Google's results are a chaotic mess for sure. Chock full of ads, sponsored links, and shallow content that buries what you actually need. Meanwhile, perplexity delivers sharp, conversational answers with cited sources. Millions of people are raving about perplexity's clarity, ditching Google for good. This isn't a passing fad, it's a revolution, a revolt against the search giant that has lost its soul. Google's Fall a greedy ad stuffed disaster. Google search used to be a marvel, but now it's a digital junkyard. A 2024 study exposed the rot. 68% of Google's top results are SEO optimized fluff or affiliate links, with ads hogging up 30% of the screen on average. Users are drowning in clickbait and paid placements with relevant answers buried under layers of noise. Many on X slam Google as, quote, unusable, 
praising Perplexity's precision and ad-free interface. Google's obsession with squeezing every cent from its ad empire has eroded trust, leaving users desperate for a search tool that respects their time and intelligence. The DOJ's Reckoning, Google's Monopoly Exposed. Google's near total control of search, still towing around 89% of the market, is under fire. In August 2024, the U.S. Department of Justice, or the DOJ, branded Google as an illegal monopoly, spotlighting $26 billion spent in 2021 on shady deals with Apple, Samsung, and others to lock in default search status. That is a big deal. A 2025 trial turned up the heat, with prosecutors demanding Google's empire be carved up, potentially selling off Chrome or Android. These lawsuits painfully depict Google's ruthless tactics, bullying rivals like Perplexity, which can't get a foothold on devices due to Google's iron fist contracts. The DOJ argues this stranglehold jacks up ad prices, gouges consumers and advertisers alike. Perplexity's Ascent, a smarter search future. Perplexity's rise is electric. With 10 million monthly active users by mid-2024, it's surging, offering ad-free results and robust research tools. Unlike Google's half-baked AI overviews, Perplexity's answers are crisp, pulling real-time data with clear citations. Citations are important. You want to know where this information is coming from. That is great. The DOJ's battle for fair competition could crack open the door for perplexity, especially as Google stumbles. Users are flocking away from Google search to alternatives like perplexity for a cleaner, smarter search experience. This isn't just a switch, it's a movement and it's picking up steam. I agree. 100%. Like I said before, Google is so just chock full, full of ads and placements that are being paid for and keyword stuffing and just an absolute sponsor link mess that it's like you can't find anything. And the reason you can't find it is because Google buries it. Like they were saying, 30% or even more, I think it's more like 50% of the screen is just filled with this stuff with these ads and all kinds of product placements and sponsorships and all kinds of crap that it used to be a search engine. The term, just Google it, made sense 10, 15, 20 years ago. But today, it really doesn't. Because when you search for something, you get just a hot mess instead of actually what you're looking for. And like I said, they've been burying stuff for years, even back before the virus times, when Google started burying facts and just bringing to the top fallacies that now, as of today, we know that they were fallacies, but Google, once again, doing a political thing, brought a lot of junk to the top that shouldn't even have been there. And all the stuff that you were looking for, you couldn't find anyways, unless you went down to, once again, page 20 or page 50. Google didn't get rid of it altogether. It just simply buried it. That's what it does. It's a very underhanded and nefarious way to softly edge people out of the limelight, let's say. So if you don't show up on Google, well, guess what? You don't show up anywhere. And the reason being is 89% of all searches are happening in Google. Well, until now. Perplexity is absolutely amazing. Now, let me just say something that this is not like an ad for perplexity. I can tell you that for sure. They haven't given me a dollar. I just use it, okay? But I also use Grok, Elon Musk AI. I also use ChatGPT. And I use specific large language models or AI for different reasons. It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm looking for something maybe medical, I'll use one. If I'm doing something where I'm working on an article, I'll use another or whatever the case might be. Or maybe it's just something that is really timely. I want to get news to the minute, to the second. I'll use a different one. So for me, I use a lot of different things, but perplexity is awesome. The reason I use perplexity over Grok or ChatGPT, for example, as my search engine is because perplexity makes it easy. 
With Grok or ChatGPT, you kind of have to get into their software or into their website and then do your search there. Whereas with Perplexity, it allows you to force feed your prompt or your question into Perplexity's website automatically. OK, which is really, really powerful. So before I keep ranting, I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up. I'm going to use Google Chrome instead of using DuckDuckGo or using Firefox or something else or Edge. Please don't use Edge. Don't use Microsoft. Anyways, I'm going to use Chrome just because that's what I have up right now. But you could do the same thing with Firefox or anything else using the same type of techniques. Once again, I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm going to also tell you the why behind it so that you can use it on other browsers. And I don't have to show you each and every one. Once again, because you'll learn something. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump over to my screen. OK, so this is Google Chrome. Now, obviously, if you want to get away from Google completely, we can go with Firefox. But Google Chrome is what I have currently up. So we're going to use Chrome. So what we're going to do is right now, as you can see, if I do a search up here, let's say I type in Starship, for example, right? And that's what you get. It automatically goes to Google. It does its search. Well, we don't want to use Google any longer. We're tired of Google search because it is once again chock full of ads and all kinds of other trash. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to these three dots. We click on the three dots, head down to the bottom and click on settings. Now, this is where we want to be. On the left hand side, we go down to where it says search engine. Click on search engine. And now, as you can see, we currently have Google as the default. We need to change that. So we're going to go to manage search engines and site search. We click here and now we're going to scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, there are some options we have already in here that comes stock or default. It has Google, of course, as default because it is Chrome. Then you have Yahoo, you have Bing, you have DuckDuckGo, so on and so forth. Now, what we want to do is we want to add one. We're going to go and click here to add site search like this. And then we're going to type something in here for a name. Let's first start out by typing in perplexity. There we go. And for a shortcut, let's just call it, I don't know, perp. That sounds good. Now, just relax. You don't have to write anything down. I'm going to place this search engine URL in the pinned comment as well as the description. It looks like this HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www dot perplexity dot AI forward slash question mark Q equals percent S. That's it. Now, I'll tell you in just a minute the why behind this. So you can use it on all browsers. But for now, let's just click on add. And there we go. If we go down here, we can see perplexity. We have a shortcut as called perp. Now, that's all we have to do is go to perplexity and then click on the three dots and we can say make default. And look what it did. It moved it from here up to the top. And now instead of Google saying default right here, we can see it says perplexity. And that is set for default. Now, let's see if it works. We're going to open up another browser window. And as you can see, this is the standard Chrome browser window in the top in the URL. Let's now type in Starship once again. We hit enter. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see that. So now we're using perplexity instead of using Google search. So as you can see, it was very easy to set up perplexity as your default search engine instead of using Google search. And for me, I just absolutely love this because I don't have to actually type in perplexity and go in there and start doing searches or go into chat GPT or go into Grok or whatever. I could just do it right from my browser, right from any search page, right from a URL and you just type in what you're looking for and it'll immediately force feed that string or that prompt into perplexity. Now, remember, I told you I was going to tell you the why behind it and how it works kind of in comparison to just the how I showed you exactly how to do it. Now, to make this work on every other browser, once again, it's the why, why this is happening. And the reason it's not happening through Grok and ChatGPT is because they do not have a means to push or force feed a prompt into their website. Perplexity does. Now, how do they do it? 
They do it with that URL that I gave you. At the end of the perplexity.ai forward slash question mark Q, Q is like query. All right, and then it says equal with a percent S. The percent S is basically your string that you're force feeding into it, which would be your prompt. All right, that's how it works. So if you use that, maybe I'll stick it down here. Once again, I'll put it down below in the description as well as the pinned comment. You can find it down there. Just copy and paste it into any browser and use that instead and it'll work. Now, some of the browsers might be easier if you download a extension, for example, and use a search engine alternative extension and then just be able to add it into that. You could do that. I just showed you how to do it manually and the reason being is I'm not an extension kind of guy. I like to keep everything as clean as possible. I don't know what the hell the extension is doing in the background. I didn't write it, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's phoning home with my data. I don't know. So I limit the amount of extensions based on stuff that I absolutely must have. If it's imperative, then I'll put the extension on my browser. If not, it's not going in there. I'm going to do it like I just showed you how to do it manually. That's just how I work. Now, the reason I really like this perplexity over a Google search, not just because Google absolutely sucks at this point, but also because it is an LLM. That means it's a large language model AI that I can question. I can ask things of. If it gives me a response and it gives me citations of where it found it, I can say, you know, I really like this citation number three. Can you dig into that one a little bit better or a little bit deeper? And it will do that. Just like that, as simple as that. Instead of me going through Google and searching page and page and page, trying to find something of relevance and then more and more pages and then changing up my Google search again to kind of hone it down a little bit better. Here, I just tell it, listen, I like this, hone it down a little bit based on that. Okay, no problem. And it just simply does it. You cannot beat it. There is no... I don't even know how anyone uses Google search anymore. I really don't, Bing or any of the others. I just don't get it because any one of these large language models will do the exact same job and better and will allow you to communicate and have a conversation with it. There's nothing better than that, in my personal opinion. So I hope you found value in this. Give it a shot. And if you don't like it, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and change your default search to Google again, if you want, or to whatever you want to use, duck, duck, go, whatever. And everything is back to the way you had it before. But I think that if you try this perplexity trick, this little hack, you are going to stick with it because you're going to get responses that are going to be 10 times better, more accurate, and more specific to your needs than what Google could even dream about. And once again, it is so stuffed today with ads and just irrelevancy that is just absolutely disgusting to even look at it sometimes. Like they said, 30% of the page is just packed with just nonsense. When you look at Google search, you kind of have to discern what is real and what is not, what is fact and what is kind of fallacy. Because remember, it brings up to the top what it wants to and it pushes down or shadow bans what it doesn't want you to see. And that is a big problem a massive problem and people are just sick of it. In my personal opinion, what say you down below? Are you sick of it? Are you going to try this perplexity hack? I hope you do. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you stick with it. And as I said before, if you got value in the video, throw it a thumbs up. That's very helpful. Tell your friends, family, colleagues, Reddit, Facebook, tell everyone about the video as well as the channel. I would really appreciate your support. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch and my teas and my books and my shirts and everything else. Go over there, see if there's something there that you like. If there is, pick it up, help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and stay Google free. We'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.